After opening the playoffs with a four-game sweep against Salmon Arm, the Penticton V's took on the West Kelowna Warriors as seen here in Game 3. The V's pulled off another win, making the series 3-0, but Game 4 would turn out a little different when the Warriors fought back from defeat and claimed a win. But it would be all over for the Warriors in Game 5 as the Penticton V's claimed yet another victory. Just in that last series with uh, West Kelowna, having those last uh, those last three games going to overtime, you know, that's very intense. And you know, in those games, really anything can happen. You know, you do your best uh, to stick to the game plan, and uh, you know, do what our coaches tell us, who've who've been great in preparing us uh, for each of these series. And uh, you know, the rest is you know comes down to battle. You know, who wants it more? When you win, you always look back at leadership, and uh, you know, I think. Uh, it's hard to get to the finals without leadership, and I, I'm sure they've they've got a lot of players throughout their lineup uh, that help them, you know, lead their team. And with us, it you know starts with our captain Troy Stetcher, uh, you know, three years with our program, and and uh, there's a lot of others that go down, you know, we go up and down our lineup, and and uh, you know I think that's what carried us through the first two series. For ourselves, we worked uh, extremely hard, but when playoff time comes around, I think uh, the word sacrifice becomes a, a key ingredient, obviously, in your recipe of uh, becoming a winning team. And you know, the the sacrifice from our hockey team out on the ice has uh, been incredible. I mean, blocking shots, back checking, uh, just all the little details that the average fan wouldn't notice, but it's a huge part for our team and a great motivation on the bench. With the second straight Interior Conference crown for the Penticton Bees, they now face the Surrey Eagles, who led the regular season points scoring. Both teams are equal when it comes to goals for and against in the playoffs. Neither team has an advantage of a really hot goaltender or a high scoring player. But I know players on their team that I played against in the past and that have been on our team in the past. So I definitely have an idea what to expect from their top players, which is an advantage for me coming into that series. You know, we put uh, big expectations on ourselves and there were big expectations, you know, from the town and from, uh, from the community, you know, for us to really do well last year and basically to win a national championship. So, you know, it's not easy going in as the favorite and especially, you know, that was my first playoff experience in the VCHL. Surrey and Penticton met only twice in regular season, both winning on home ice. You know, both teams are playing probably their best hockey of the year going in the finals and that should be exciting for everybody that's uh, coming out to watch it. Some of the times during a series, you know, when things get tough, we really rely on the fans being in this building, you know, to feed off them. And our fans have been great and we really appreciate the support. And we really hope to get this building really bumping for the for the finals. In Penticton, this is Wayne McDougall for Go Okanagan.